Logan, and these are my top ten picks of last year, 2003. <laughs> last year. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Top ten picks of what? Music. Music, my friend. Music. Real music. Real, really real, keeping it real music. You hear so it first. UVN. UVN. Actually, they're in no particular order. Okay, I'm lying. They're in alphabetical order, but they're not in any ranking order. Starting off, we got AFI, Sing the Sorrow. AFI finally reaches that sound that they've been building for the past six albums, probably. Yes, they now sound like Danzig. But it's a very good Danzig. It's a lovely Danzig. Even though the guy has horrible hair. In, it in looks the like a woman, but Danzig is a comic book fan. So in the, uh, that, in the, and Danzig was on Aqua Teens, so you got a lot of that. Yeah. Although Davy Havoc does look like a woman. Davy Havoc is a beautiful lady. Christina. Davy like Havoc, if you're watching, yeah. I'll marry you. All right. Next up, we got Blink 182's new self-titled album. It's a very different album for Blink 182. No humor, just good music. Thank you, Blink. You're back. Yeah. It's it's they've come a long way from Dude Ranch. Or say it ain't it's so. good, but I think the old song. I will not go. Yeah, you I would. hate that song. Da 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 da. All right. Not After that, we got brand new with Deja Antandu. Great stuff. Kind of the Smiths. Kind of getting into that vibe. A little bit bright eyes. It's good stuff though. I suggest everybody check it out. I've never heard of it. I've got no opinion. After that, we got Coheed and Cambria with In Keeping Secrets of Silent Earth 3. If you want a band with a storyline, <coughs> if you want a band with creativity, check this out. It's good stuff. Very highly recommended and see them live because they kick uh, <laughs> they kick back. <laughs> All right. After that, we got Fall Out Boy's, um, I guess, label debut. They're on Field by Ramen now. But uh, check it out if you like Old Saves the Day or Taking Back Sunday, or uh, just good rock. A little bit emo, but a uh, whole lot more awesome. Next up, we got From Autumn to Ashes with The Fiction We Live. No, it's The Fiction We Live. Anyway, great melodic hardcore stuff. I very highly recommend this CD to just about anybody who likes a little hardcore in their emo and a little emo in their hardcore. A little punk rock. Good stuff. E Not very fun. Next up, we have a very experimental CD. This is the Mars Volta with. I forget the name of the CD. Light coming out. Deloused in the Comatorium. Very good, though. Very highly recommended. Very out there. If you like Kogi, you'll probably like this. After that, we get a little bit punk rocky. We got No Effects with the War on Errorism. Very de big departure for No Effects because uh, there's really only a couple funny songs on here. It's a lot more political, it's a lot more angry, but it's still pretty good. Still as catchy as any other one's probably about the best album they've put out, well, compared to the last couple. Best album they put out in a while. I'd Definitely. say that's my number two pick for the year. I rank that as number two. We'll find out what Andy's number one is on the next <laughs> segment. And our next segment. <laughs> Alright, after that. My number one pick for the it, year. It, <laughs> Matt, I'm going to say Adam. this is my album. Thrice with the artist in the ambulance. Rock. It's good stuff. They're great live. I can't recommend this band enough. Um, I can't. Buy this album. It's good. It's good stuff. And then finally, last and definitely not least, we got Thursday with War All the Time. Pick it up. It's a good album. I can't support these guys enough either. But I don't have my album it, cover it, with it, me, it, it, but my number one pick for the last year is Dropkick Murphy's The Blackout Album. Definitely the best one. This can be his cover. <laughs> the cover for Blackout looks very different from this, actually. But we'll pretend. Dropkick Murphy's Blackout. Check it out. So, yeah, read Firestorm. I got a few <laughs> bands that I didn't have on the top ten. Could have easily been 20 CDs last year. Spittle... Blah. Spittlefield. <laughs> check them out. I can't... Spittle <laughs> Silverstein, check those guys out. Census Fail, pretty good. Jay Z's album, I gotta recommend it. Black album, check it out. Outcasts, they don't need props from me with all their Grammys now. Album of the year. <laughs> Speaking of, of the year, also check out Story of the Year. I know their video gets overplayed, but the rest of that CD is aces. And uh, until the day I die. Let's not uh, forget the one of the number one albums of all time. 
would be the first Batman movie soundtrack by Prince. Featuring Bat Dance. If you don't own it, get it. <laughs> get it. Because you're missing out. You are missing out. Because he's a party man. He is a party man. My favorite party song man. was the Seal's Kiss from Rose. That was a good song. That was Batman Forever. I that was the only no, good thing about Batman That was the only good thing about Batman. That's the thing. Still wasn't even that Batman. Yes, he was. It's Commissioner Gordon. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, we're on music news. I also recommend, well, I guess I can't recommend that you download it, but somehow get a copy of the Grey album. It's been all the all the rage lately. It's been in a lot of news places. DJ Danger Mouse, this guy, Jay-Z released an acapella version of the Black album. He took it and he mixed it with the Beatles White album and it's it's just like that. It's the gray album. And it's gray and it's great. <laughs> now you're going for a Tony the Tiger there. Or <laughs> On that note, that's all I got for music this week. But we'll be back again. We're good. If you believe. Um, my my last news in that uh Grohl is going to be with Garbage, so they're going to sound like Garbage again. That's a good thing, though, even though it sounds like I'm not saying it's a good thing. But he's going to be the drummer for their next album, so it's, hopefully it's going to be back to more rock than the soft, weird thing they were doing lately or whatever. <laughs> Alice in Chains reunion is planned. Uh, the uh, three that are still alive are still with the band. <laughs> so uh, they're going to see what they can do without uh, late singer Lance Daly. They're I, bringing it back from the dead. I they see. didn't want us to announce this. It's yeah. very hush hush. <laughs> but they have a new process to resurrect him. There, there yeah. is, there is a, you know, a small article in Wizard. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, if you want to check out the new issue of Wizard, it's actually no longer a comics magazine. It's actually about witchcraft. So you're bringing it back to life. <laughs> Wizard. So read it. <laughs> do, 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 Thanks to Harry Potter. Next to Harry Potter. <laughs> Harry Potter is actually now touring with Alice in Chains. Harry Potter's got a new band called the Sorcerer's Stones. And I highly recommend them. They're, I didn't say they're that a little they're nerds. metal. They're metal. Harry's got a little bit of an emo vibe going with those glasses, but oh, I know nonetheless I he knows how to rock. Um, uh, soundtrack you should it's not out yet, but there was a release of who's gonna be on the soundtrack of the Punisher soundtrack. There's gonna be Drowning Pool, Polo Mud, Nickelback, Chevelle. Yeah. Queens of the Stone Age. Yeah. Seether's on there. I like yeah. Seether. Uh, he's going to do something with Amy Lee from Evanescence. So I, uh -huh. I want to hear that. So let's not the to, video for that will be sexy. That's about right. all we got. Let's not forget the uh, soundtrack coming up for uh, Harry Potter, the Prisoner of Azkaban. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Featuring Harry, Harry Potter, Potter the Sorcerer's Stones. Sorcerer Stones. Smile will empty, be on there. Yeah, smile Empty they Frog. They really the soundtrack. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> their songs is to go overplayed now. More like Frown Empty Soul. Frown Empty Soul. You can hit me. Trapped is on there. I like Trapped. It's planned. Uh, featuring Jerry Cantrell, so I'm going to say yeah. Uh, Hate Breed, I've never heard of them. No. Hate Breed, Caesar's on her. Uh, Harry Mel, Edgewater's Harry got a song, Finger Eleven. Well, I'm not too big on Hate Breed. Actually. Ben Moody. But I don't hate them. Anybody know Ben Moody? Ben Moody? He's on the album. Uh, no. Strata? Strata, no. Eric Strata? Seven, <laughs> seven Wiser? So Sixpence, None the Richer? No, not that. <laughs> Submerged? Uh, there's a lot of new people. Ad Adam Ship? Adam Schmidt. Mark Coley. 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 He's a Coley. All right. Basically, this sounds like when a uh, the studio wants to release a bunch of their <laughs> new metal bands and they shove them onto a movie soundtrack. There you go. So check out the Punisher soundtrack if you like being corporate. corporate. Hey man, Queen's <laughs> in a corporate. Heat. Oh, okay. local Either news. Either Jerry can't Local trail. news. Check out uh, that album if you like. Local news. Check bands. out Menards. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, Menards yeah, have finally opened up in Lima, and. I can't yeah, recommend that you go to Menards enough. Um, there's a great selection at Menards. There's just there's a lot to look at, and seriously, just feel your way around Menards, and I think you'll really enjoy it. But it starts at 8.30. It's so only it's five bucks, huh? Yeah. Five bucks. That's kind of Four, cool. five, six, seven bucks. Yeah, go see it. <laughs> I wonder if they'll see us. Nah. I doubt it. We got an audience today. Because we're shooting from someplace place. Go see this concert. It's kind of like a audience taping, huh? Yeah. Look at us. What's new before? Gotta have the applause, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> we have a lot of consciences here in the audience tonight. 
<laughs> What's the humor? <laughs> Of you have to show. Alright, we're, we're here like in a different live. location, I know but still behind live. the counter. Yes. I know where you sleep. sleep. I know it's Butterfly Love. What's your don't. problem? <laughs> they don't? Oh. Right, right, right. We're at Butterfly Love in the American Mall. No, we're not. <laughs> yes, we are. Yeah. So, hi. Yeah, so come here and shop. Yeah, our good friend Alan is like letting us shoot from behind his counter. Actually, we, great of we him. read the name tag on the shirt. We just found out his name is Alan. <laughs> We showed up today with a video camera, and he's all like, what are you guys doing? And we're like, shh, shh. See, that's a we're advertising, <laughs> man. Uh, and these are Grateful Dead Bears. I pulled these off the shelf because these, I don't know, these things look really cool. And they are really cool. Anybody who's a fan of the Grateful Dead it's, has some of these because they're collectibles from them. I'm a fan of things like that. Oh, all bad. I don't get it. Like, oh, crap, the people looking at me like they're going to kill me here. You son of a... <laughs> With the bears. He's not dead. Yes. You can, you can get a lot of really good stuff from here. Like, you, know, you want to tell them about these necklaces? Or? Well, let me tell you my one-page thing on these necklaces. Yep. Bye. Right. How much is it? It's free. <laughs> no, don't come here and try that. Oh, wow, this one's like twenty two dollars. Three necklaces out. Wow, these are like made, handmade though, so they are worth twenty two dollars. They're not made by hand. And tie dye shirts like the one I'm wearing. Yeah, which I've had for a while. I have a, a wide assortment of uh, tie dye shirts. So Alan has become a master. He makes in his, his craft. He makes it. Okay, it's not just like you know. Can you see that? It's not corporate. Look at that. <laughs> he made a mushroom in the middle of this shirt, man. That is really cool. I can't do that. No, you can't. <laughs> I'm sure he can teach you, but... No, he can't. He tried, he, no, he, tried, he tried that before. It was 10th grade. He showed me how to make a tie-dye shirt. I remember it. It was terrible. I was tortured. Back in the day. Because my shirt, shirt sucked. And that's why. Was it but it's alright. I still have that shirt to this day. I never wear it. Yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> Most of 15 million other shirts that he wears. This is another really good one. I like it. I mean, you didn't make that one. I wish I made that one. Hmm? You would have been mad. Man, that's the look of <laughs> Anyways, uh, have a book to read. View. That Sorry, dude, I fell asleep. Feet. I had to work this morning. <laughs> Looking at it with the evil eye. <laughs> uh, come to a Butterfly Love, yeah. Come, please. Or something. We'll have the owner on here in just a moment. We're going to do like some weird intro or something. Like, do -do -do -do. No, no. We can do that, can't we? Yes. Alright, so. Right. That's my yeah. conscience talking. Let's do it. Alright, go ahead. You're ready to cut it off in this I mean, um, magic special effects. Wow, you see how cheesy our show is? <laughs> cut the camera off so you can put the special effects on with Photoshop. And, oh, I'm not fulfilling that. It's a great version. Anyways, go. You go. You go first. You go. Do 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 do. Alright, do and something. We're back. Magic like. Alright. This is Joe. I mean, Nick. I mean, what's your name? <laughs> the name tag says Alan. <laughs> that's, that's my name tag. <laughs> anyway, it's going in. My name tag says Bob. <laughs> Dude. Dude, you stole my name. <laughs> Mine says something management. I'm like, right. I'm not going to say. It does. <laughs> it really does. Anyway, this is this is Alan, the owner and operator, and a really cool guy from Butterfly Love. Where we're at right now. Thanks for the twenty bucks. <laughs> we were paid to say that. This is not cool. That's why he took the money and I said it. Yes. I'm still in it too. <laughs> These guys are funny. Yeah. We're getting there. Yeah, you know, we can get some time on TV, and we're really stupid, so. What? That's all we can do. <laughs> what you got there? <laughs> See you in a minute. Yeah, he's got like... He gets all the special effects, I swear. I don't even... He can do the electrical bolts and stuff. Put that in there. And I thought it was Wolverine he was interested in. <laughs> we're gonna just have him... We're gonna have my conscience doing like a special effects field day. Or yeah, like zapping or something. Lasers. Got some cataracts in there. Mind beams. Yes. Alright. Wow. 
That's real people. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Somebody actually walked by. <laughs> She's staring at me. Yeah, we're at the American <laughs> Mall, which isn't as heavily populated as the Lime Mall. Right? Of course it is. Which is a benefit. Heck yeah, who wants people around? <laughs> when you're running a business. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst advertisement I've ever seen. <laughs> That's kind of neat. Handmade. I found it. <laughs> just pop. Penis is finding stuff all over the place. Isn't it? Those things, man. Those things I think so we, this is the best advertisement I've ever seen. It makes me want to go buy something. You're broke. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you owe me 20 bucks anyway. You know what you mean? I think it's time for fan mail. Would you like to stay around for fan mail? We're going to have someone else pop up here. Fan mail? Yeah. Sure. I'm a fan. <laughs> all right. Big mail. Go ahead. Put the, ready? Do it. <laughs> Seen all day. Oh That's God. sad. <laughs> Wait, get down on camera. Oh, you did. <laughs> Gina, you probably look Stop. really good in the chat. Thank you. They were hoping you had like a fro or like something. Weird... <laughs> Turn it around. I'm like candy man. Turn it around. It's all backwards. There you go. <laughs> She's got to deal with it. Fan mail. Fan mail. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, she's Amanda's back with more mail for us. Which you guys, you guys love us. And I Where's the crowd? Why. The crowd should be cheering right now. Yay! Oh. Why is there one person? <laughs> you sound like you're dying. <laughs> Where's the crowd to cheer? Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> my eye. You poked people in the eye. Give me that. <laughs> Here's the <a> joke. <laughs> <laughs> That's my special effects. God, that was terrible. What is that? These are cool. Is that? They are. They are. We have a lot of sweet. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Bring us the mail! She doesn't need a new hat. I know. <laughs> oh, a customer got scared. <laughs> like, oh my god, what's going on? That's just Chad. It's just me. Dear D-Boy and Peanut, I just, right. wanted, I just wanted to let you two know how proud I am of both of you. I'm proud of you too. This is a great show Ooh. for the family. P.S. Peanut. Sorry about the elephant beating. I was eating some pretzels in my beloved pom pom. <laughs> Why do you like start laughing when you read the mail? <laughs> because it's funny. They're a terrible sex there. <laughs> and my beloved Pom Pom escaped all the way to beat you up. PSS, what's the P and Peanut stand for? Next question, or keep reading. PSSS, oh, and what's, <laughs> what's the D and D boy stand for? <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> you know what? PSSS, can I get an autograph from that chick who reads the letters for you guys? Not on your life. Yep. P.S.S. She's sad. sad. Look at her, she's so sad. The missus is calling. Please write me back. P.S.S.S.S.S.S. My address is the White House. Love, President George Bush. Why, thank you, Bush. Lockbox. <laughs> That's good. That was real good. What? What are you doing? Strategery. No one's going to get that. No one's probably not. Like, it doesn't what? matter. It's, what the heck is he doing? He's being dumb, like the D&D boy stands for. Hey, man, we could cut out like Actually, George Bush's face else, and Al Gore's face, and like he gets Al Gore's, and I get George, and you know George with that weird lip thing. Whatever he does. <laughs> is that really? I don't. I don't know. I think the government is watching this right now. Of course they are. It's because you're paranoid, dummy. They're not after you. Why <laughs> me? David Peanut, if you could be any comic book character, who would you be? George Bush. <laughs> I'd be John yeah, Stewart. I'd be George Bush. <laughs> what? I don't know. I can't act like that. Why is this? Next one. Okay. <laughs> David Peanut, just a question. Did OJ do it? <laughs> yes, he did, and we love him for getting away with it. <laughs> no, don't say Thank you. Did. Next you question. <laughs> <laughs> that, that Two is one shot. Bam. Yeah. 
have a big, you know, Batman like exactly. names. Right. I'm always getting hit. <laughs> now you're sad. I'm always getting hit on national television. We're not national. We're local. Yeah, it's local. Dave and Peanut, have either one of you ever been attacked by the rapper known as Missy Elliott? <laughs> yes, and I loved every minute of it. Clean my teeth up? Trash bags and all. Okay. <laughs> Dear David Peanut, why are you guys the only good thing on basic cable? That's not true. There's that one guy that's on right before us. Is Mr. Rogers still on? No, Mr. Rogers ain't on anymore. Well, that was the best damn thing that's to have yeah, on so. the cable. Be my no. Okay. <laughs> That's why I'm still doing the show with you is beyond me. Okay. Dear okay. Dave and... Okay. Y'all. Y'all? What, are you like southern? This, really this is the southern edition of uh, Behind the Camp. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> southern people, please don't hurt <laughs> <laughs> you gotta find like a bucket of fried chicken burning in your Watch this! <laughs> now that would have been cool if I pulled out that. That would have been great. You would have ate it too. <laughs> I would have eaten a bucket of fried chicken. Wow, we got Whoa, it's you guys three, 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 at the movies last time. Come around, dude. Come around. Yeah. We don't care. This is like the special edition. Don't break the camera, dude. It's I'm like, sorry. Might be the only one we got. All right. Dear Dave and Peanut. Hi. If you were a woman, what would you do? Run <laughs> far, far away from Peanut. <laughs> While you're sitting next to him. <laughs> I don't know. You need Kermit the Frog to pop up right now. That's not Kermit. Oh, I'll say Kermit. <laughs> Your questions are like hard this week or whatever. We had easier ones last time, like we kidnapped your parents and stuff. And the Olsen twins. Yeah. Your questions are a little more difficult. Okay. Dear D Boy and Peanut. Hey. Your show sucks. <laughs> it needs to be in black and white. Plus, I'm suing your show it, because right. it made me fat. <laughs> Have you ever advertised food on this show? <laughs> no, no, I think it's you're because you're always I'm... eating. <laughs> you're not eating anything right now, though. But Am I going to die? <laughs> well, I don't know if you want this back now. But <laughs> <laughs> well, fatter than I already Damn, was. Stop. I will work day and night to get you off the air. What? <laughs> yeah, apparently made him fat. I can understand that. I mean, we're that we're that that entertaining. Okay, look, no, listen. I'll drink uh, diet. From now on. <laughs> I'll eat Subway. Just like J Jerry. 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 Everybody saying that. Yeah, Jerry, Jerry. Jerry's my. <laughs> you all know him that's sad. Damn you all. <laughs> yeah, Wall. Thanks, Wall. The belly. The monster belly. The monster belly. letter from Wall. The underbelly of Wall. I don't know. It's a very scary, scary creation. Dear D-Boy and Peanut. Hello. I am so proud of both of you, and I love you so much. Making your Why is everybody in love with us? <laughs> You're hot. <laughs> <laughs> this show has hit an all-time low. <laughs> this is the last one we're doing with an audience, I swear. <laughs> At least a live one. <laughs> we'll kill them first. Are you wearing pants? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> what? <laughs> I hope he is. <laughs> I'm gonna stop staring at the camera. <laughs> Her conscience runs right under me. Her conscience is right there. That man in that black suit looks like taking off running. <laughs> is he still talking? No. <laughs> um, what? what? Huh? Are we have okay. another question here. Um, yeah, I'm getting there. Making your adorable little shows and broadcasts, but I must tell you both the truth. You two are brothers, separate at birth. Frying the both of yours father. Sorry to keep it from you for so long. Who's our father? I don't know. Signed, love, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, Dad, don't watch this. I, I knew we were brothers, but I didn't know we were like brothers. Solid, really yo. Yeah. Devon and Bubba Ray. Devon and Bubba Ray. Just like that. Why do I okay, I don't know because you're the only one here. I don't know. All right, uh, you don't need to disappear and bamf this time. I guess you can stay here. Um, what else is the? Hey, did you want to show them that thing that Amanda gave you? No. Oh, oh crap! Yeah. <coughs> Let's show yeah, this show is dedicated to. What's your last name? Flower. <laughs> what is it? Flower. Flower. Joni Lauer. Joni Lauer. You can uh, yeah. check her out. She used to wrestle as China from the WWF. She now wrestles in New Japan. Um, and like her website is bodybyjoni.com. I see the new Japan. After this picture, I wouldn't mind. Joni, thank you very much for this. I will charge you this, and we will sign you an autograph from us three. Yeah, we we'll we'll gotta get, get an autograph. We gotta get a picture or, or something to sign for you. Maybe a teddy bear, maybe we'll bite this thing. But thank you very much, and good luck with whatever you do, and hope your career blossoms and goes well. So. And I'm glad you gave it to Peanut. <laughs> Are you fat? I'm not envious in the least. No, of course not. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's alright. It's alright. What song am I singing? <laughs> I don't know. There's a trivia question for you. What song was he singing? I'm special, 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 special. <laughs> you okay? She stole your hat. <laughs> On that note, I think our show's about. Ready to run out here. Um, what about my do, wait, wait, wait. Do we all want to have like one of those Wayne's World moments where we're all crowded together and we're like, what have we learned from this episode? <laughs> come on, everybody, come around. Come on, get around here. Just come on. I'm going to throw stuff at people if they don't come. <laughs> what we've all learned in this episode today. Is that there's just not enough people behind this couch? Come on around, Dad. Come on around, Dad. Come on around, Dad. Come so on. Awesome. we just want to take on, this guys. time out to bless all the the penguins in the world <laughs> <laughs> because they're they're almost extinct, are they? <laughs> no, I don't think so. But God bless the penguins. I watched one the internet fall down. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I watched that over and over and over again, dude. So uh, funny. for that penguin, we'll call him Steve. <laughs> Steve the penguin. This is for um. Me. This is for you. We love you. We're saying goodbye. Love donate you. money to Steve the Penguin. <laughs> you can donate Shut money up. to us. At <laughs> We're keep rolling up your address right now. <laughs> <laughs> right. Steve the Penguin. All right. <laughs> saying good night, good day, or something. Watch us next week. Alright, you we... did that all with such a straight face until the very end. <laughs> yeah, me out of it. Alright, uh, but we're on the next segment. If we have a segment, we'll be based by anything movies and comics. So, so yeah, take a look at me, Nards, and uh, rock on. <laughs> Sorcerer Stones. Woo! Wizard.